As women, I feel like we're really great at setting atmosphere for our families, for our kids' birthday parties, for events we have for other people. But then I wonder how often we're able to just set that atmosphere to spend time with God and let the Holy Spirit work in our lives. It's something that women really struggle with. Atmospheres are so important for women, for everybody. Our atmosphere that we carry with us everywhere we go, it's who we are, it's our experiences in life that we've gone through. All of that comes into play. We all know that person that when they enter the room, the room changes and gets happy or joyful or exciting. But we also know that person that when they enter the room, there's a heaviness or even a sadness. In our atmosphere, Paul talks about and calls it heavenly places in the book of Ephesians. And in that heavenly places, it's our sphere of activity that goes with us everywhere we go. And people come in contact with that atmosphere. And it can't be overestimated how important it is. The whispering, you're out of time. I call them energy suckers. Um, whenever they are in a poor mood, I am also in a poor mood. I think all of us have a tendency to do that. It's very hard to stand up and be happy and be yourself and be joyful and choose those things. When you have people in your atmosphere, in your surroundings, that are constantly negative. I must stay conscious. What are ways that you can be actively improving your atmosphere for others around you? We have been given a guideline, and that guideline is the Word of God. But people are tired of hearing, you need to be in the Word, you need to be in the Word. But the answer never changes, and it becomes a priority issue. I just got done doing a devotion where this lady said in it, Are you content with your state of being, or would you like to be in a state of becoming? And that hit me because so often, we're okay where we are, but we're not okay. And if you decide, I want to become, I truly want to possess these things that the Bible says I possess. I want my atmosphere to change. I want to affect the lives of other people positively, not negatively. We are excited to have Terry Lorenzen join us for our women's event called Rise. Invite your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, as we learn more about building the atmosphere around us and how we can influence others. Jesus! <laughs>